guys, welcome back to my channel. This is living now. This is living now. For today's video, I wanted to sit down and do um, like a what I learned in college, and I have like a few tips for you guys. I just want to like share my experience because. My time here at college is coming to an end for my first year and um, like it's finals week right now and next Thursday is my last day so this first year of college has been amazing I have loved it here so much and it's really all about like what you make out of it college can be some of the best years of your life and I can't wait to be back here next year I just wanted to reflect on this past year of college my first year going to a university going away for school and just share with you guys what I learned and a few tips. Okay, so starting off, at the beginning of the year, you're gonna meet so many people, whether it's like, here we had like the welcome weekend, so when you first got here, like they had you like slam packed with like doing all these different things, and you were like meeting all different people, and like you went around with like the floor, so I'm like on the fifth floor, so like all of us was like a group, and um, we like walked around and did stuff together. And I actually got really close with a few of the girls on my floor, but then like as um, like time progressed, we just kind of like started to like not hang out as much. We, and but like at the beginning, like I really thought they were gonna be like my best friends in college, and that you know that wasn't the case. So this also kind of goes into that, and it's um, that your roommate might not be your best friend. So and that's not to say that like you know you guys might be best friends, and that's also not to say that you might not get along and like hate each other because like me and my roommate like that wasn't the case like we got along fine but like we weren't like best friends and like we weren't hanging out all the time but at the beginning of the year we were because so coming here I only knew like there was four people from my high school going here and like I wasn't super close with any of them so I didn't really have anybody here that I was like you know really good friends with and neither was my roommate so we kind of like hung out together we always got dinner and you know we tried to meet up in between classes to, but as time progressed you know I later ended up joining a sorority and so did she so we kind of just like found our own friends you know slowly started to not hang out as much also I apologize for the lighting I'm filming right in front of my window and it seems to be like getting sunny and then cloudy so hopefully it's not an issue the whole time during this video but yeah so um, me and Marie were not best friends, but by no means would be in things on a bad term. She actually just left yesterday, so her side of the room is really empty, and it's weird, but yeah. Alright, and so another thing that I learned, and this was like a huge shock to me, because like coming in to college, I thought the professors were going to be like so scary and so intimidating, and guys, they're seriously like everyday people, like it's like they're your friends almost, like most of mine were like, you know, address me as Lillian, address me as Katie. Like, they want you to call them by, like, their first name, not, like, Dr. Winta or whatever. You know, like, they want you to, like, call them by their first name because they want to be, like, on that kind of basis with you. So, I, like, that to me was just so shocking and, like, how, like, cool and, like, laid back they were. Like, because they're not gonna, they're not here to, like, uh, you know, like, because in high school... I guess the th main thing is like in high school like you know it was like free you know you're not paying to go there and in college like you're paying to go here so it's like if you don't want to learn if you don't want to participate if you don't want to do you know what you're here to do then it's like it's not on them like they could care less but they're going to help you if you want help and stuff and so I just like was so like taken back at like how chill they were and just like normal everyday people. Another thing is like the atmosphere at college is completely different than the atmosphere in high school. Like here, like on a typical everyday basis, one, I'm wearing like leggings, oversized t-shirt, and like chacos or my Nikes because like, okay, one, here on campus, it's a ton of walking. You Like I go to school in the mountains and it's like you're hiking to class every day. It can um, be a little tiring and um, especially, cause I think, I think the furthest you might have to walk is maybe like 10 minutes, but I mean, it's like uphill and like up a bunch of stairs and like, eh, you start to sweat. So that's like another thing. I don't want to be like uncomfortable in jeans and stuff, but like, that's how like almost everybody here on campus dresses is like, you know, really comfortable and casual. Granted, there are some people who still dress up and there's been days when I do dress up and stuff depending on like the weather and whatnot. But like in high school, it was like impress everybody and like, I guess high school is more so about like proving yourself to people and I guess like acceptance whereas here at college it's just like nobody cares like nobody cares what you wear what you're doing like none of that like it's so 
I, I've said this word a lot, but it's so like chill and just like freedom. I don't know. It's just crazy. Like the shift in, in terms of like dressing, I guess you could say. Cause like, I don't know, like I never like bummed it in high school, you know, like was wearing sweatpants or like leggings, but like here, I just about wear leggings and a t-shirt every day. And there's like nothing wrong with that. Mainly because I'm doing a ton of walking, like I said, it's like my furthest class is about 10, 11 minutes away. And if you're like me, chances are you probably only have like 10 minutes in between your class change. And when you're on one side of campus and on the other side of campus, you have to like speed walk and like hightail it to class. And like you're gonna be like out of breath and like pouring sweat if it's like hot and stuff. So yeah, I've learned to embrace leggings and t-shirts and chacos. <laughs> So next, one thing that I guess I learned, I don't really, I don't know if to title this video, but anyway, so another thing, tip, whatever, the food on campus at first is going to seem like amazing because most campuses have like um, some kind of like restaurant, like a Subway or something, like here we have Chick-fil-A and McAllister's and like for me that like Chick-fil-A was like special because it was like on the other side of town back at home and like we didn't go there a lot, but like here... You can eat Chick-fil-A every day if you wanted to. And like that became an issue because like I was eating Chick-fil-A like three times a week and it's just not the same, you know, like it's not as special. And like, you know, they have like um they have like burritos and stuff like they have like it's way better obviously than high school food, duh. But I don't know, like it's gonna seem so great. Like you have, oh we have so many options. We have two dining halls and blah blah blah. But like the food gets old real quick and you start to be like sick and tired of it by like uh, I'd say like three months because it's like the same stuff every day. So yeah, so typically freshmen can't park on campus like you have to park um, off campus somewhere and for us we have to like take a bus to get there and um, that's a whole other video. Um, riding the bus sucks. I absolutely hate it. It's so annoying. It takes like 30 minutes to get like two minutes away from the thing. But I mean, it's not like walking distance either. But yeah, and so like another issue is like here on our campus, as it is, we don't even have like that many student lots for like upperclassmen to even park in. There's like two on campus lots that people can park in, one being only for seniors, and the other one um, is like sophomores and up and is still like so far away. So that's like my issue. I really wish, um, I don't know how the case for like other campuses, but I know it's pretty standard that freshmen can't park on campus. So parking is just like a huge issue here. Like I absolutely hate it. Like on weekends, you're allowed to park anywhere for free, but like you can, we have a spot like right here on the hill by our dorm or you have to go to like the post office. So it's not like a far walk, but it's just like super inconvenient because you can't just like get in your car and go whenever. So my last tip, my last piece of advice, um, is to always have extra toilet paper, um, whether it's just like a small thing, like a, you know, like three rolls or whatever, because here in our dorm, the, um, cleaning people, they only clean it like Monday through Friday. So on the weekend, like if you run out of toilet paper, you run out of toilet paper. So you're kind of like SOL. So I found that if you keep like, you know, extra roll of toilet paper, it comes in handy. So yeah, um, that's my what I learned in college and some advice, tips, whatever, things that I might think could help you guys or something if you're like a high school senior ready to go to college. I know like the summer of me going, coming to college, I was like YouTubing all different kinds of videos. So I plan on making this maybe like a series and doing like more um, college videos, like what to bring and that kind of stuff. So thumbs up this video if you guys are excited for that. And um... Good luck to any incoming freshmen in college, and I will see you guys in my next video. In the arms of a stranger, pretending it's love.